dear friends in this uh, shared journey. We are responsible to discern wisdom from chapter 18, that uh, this beautiful chapter that uh, the community of Matthew uh, shared with us. So I want to share three things related to it. The first one is about, uh, it's about when somebody causes damage, um, it's not about revenge, it's about correction, it's about uh, caring, it's about heartfelt caring, how to get them back into the path of love, moving from fear to courageous love. Uh, so that, that's the first thing that I would like to explore with you and discern wisdom from, about that. And then the second thing is um, I, want, I want all of you um, to remember a moment in which somebody, uh, somebody uh, correct us, well, corrects us well. Um, what, what, are, what are the qualities of that kind of correction? How they, can, how they helped us to get back into the path of our integrity, uh, like uh, get in tune with our deep aspiration, our, our integrity. And the third thing in these difficult times that we are living, I think life is calling us to make peace with nature, to get back into harmony, to get back into balance. So who can correct us about this and how, who can help us about this? Okay, these three things I want to explore uh, uh, together right now. Okay, the first thing is, if somebody uh, causes us damage, um, we need to remember that we rely on the, lo the love of other people. I want you to remember when you, when you were born and you were growing, uh, you were learning, and many people were taking care of you. Um, I have an example when when my my niece Jimena, the the daughter of my brother, um, when she was very little, she was trying to touch me with love uh, and play with my beard time ago, time ago, and I I remember my my sister in law telling me Juan Carlos, even though she's causing you damage because she was like doing something like not so gentle, uh, she's learning. She's just a baby, she's learning. So I, need, I needed to suffer her learning. I needed to suffer her learning until she can learn how can touch me with love. And I think most, many, many people, most people around us uh, has been suffering, have been suffering our learning when we were a children, when we were a child. Uh, just think about how many people were cleaning our diapers uh, when we were very little. So not only when we are a baby, but all our life we are learning. And this is a communal effort that each of us has been, has been learning. People have been supporting us. People have been suffering sometimes our, our learning. So do not, it's not about revenge, it's about correction. Remember that you, are, you have been relying on many people to support your learning. So uh, be, be compassionate. We, we, are, we need to be compassionate with people. Even though they are causing us damage, we know that we all rely on one another and we need to support one another to correct, not to destroy. That will be the first thing that I want you to, to, to think about it. And then the second thing is, uh, what are the good qualities of a correction? So what, what happened with a correction? I remember a friend, Maritze Trigos, uh, time ago. She helped me tremendously. The way she corrected me uh, was about calling myself to be loyal to my heart. So she remembered things that I, I had said. Uh, she remembered um, actions I had done. Um, she remembered all of those things. And she said, Juan Carlos, remember what you, you had said last year? Remember what you had done two years ago? This is not about, this is not what you really are. You, you, 
you just be loyal to your heart. And she, she highlighted, highlighted aspects from my life that were, uh, that were uh, supporting me, supporting me to, to get into, again, into the path. Some, some people, when we correct other people because they are causing us damage in some way or causing damage to, uh, causing other people damage, we want to correct them from a different ground beyond themselves. So the people who are close, the closest ones to, to those who are causing other people damage or causing us damage, uh, the people who are close, closest, the closest one uh, can remember good things about the, the, the people they want to correct. Um, so correction, uh, more love, more, more, more legitimacy to correct uh, another person. So that's something very important. And the ground to correct the person is about remembering good things about the person that can help the person as a resource to, to, to realize that the person can, uh, how do you say, um, get back into the path again of integrity and love. So sometimes we want to correct but this, we are not the exactly person that we that the person needs. But we we know who who are the closest one to this person that may help might help to help uh, the person to understand and to 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 get in tune with what the the inner self of this person is. So that will be the second thing. And the third thing I said that in this time of of, of COVID, in this time of uh, suffering, tremendous, tremendous suffering and die, and many people dying. Uh, life is calling us to a balance, to, to get back into harmony, to make peace with nature, not to destroy. And all the, the systems that we are living, the systems in which we are living uh, are destroying nature and are causing all this unproportional damage. And it seems like nature is reacting in different ways. Uh, uh, and we are, we are, we need to respond to get back. So how, how we can do this? Uh, how we can do this? Um, who can correct us? So I think the gospel, the good news, also uh, put light in, into, in us to, to reflect and tell us, hey, you have good things. Remember, remember, you can, we have, we need to have faith in one another. So what I want to remember right now about the gospel telling us, uh, don't forget, you, this is a treasure that we have. Um, I heard around me, I heard around me, uh, I heard around me, you are an individual. You need to be close to people who, who are, uh, who dominate. Who dominate others uh, if you want to survive and those who are weak and those who are uh, annihilate, annihilate, annihilated uh, um, you don't need to remember them you just need to compete and you're alone this is kind of like very hard environment that we live in uh, so. and we need to remember the good news that we are not an individual. We are not an individual. We are a human collective effort, an expression of many, many, many people. As I said at the beginning, uh, people uh, have been carrying us, supporting us. Uh, we have been relying on people, on, on the love of people when we are learning. Each of us is a collective human effort. We are not alone we are not alone we are we are supported by many people we are a communion um second uh jesus teaches us you don't, we don't need to be close to those who dominate others we need to 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 be close to the pain of others who are crying out publicly uh publicly that society needs to change and to overcome the pain so it's about rather than being close to those who are causing damage by dominion, we need to be close to those who are at risk of being eliminated 
by society. Those who are close to the pain, crying out for a change, and we want to be with them. We want to weave communion with them. And something else that uh, we can remember now from Jesus is, uh, we can Jesus is, we can always get back into the path of courageous love, moving from fear to courageous love, but together, together. And uh, Jesus, when, when Jesus told uh, Thomas, hey, touch my wounds, touch my wounds, I'm the resurrected one. Um, that means uh, that we don't, do not deny the pain that people are crying out publicly. We want to touch one another in those difficult situations, but we know that from there, we can, we can support one another to change and overcome that type of pain. So I think we can make peace with nature, remembering the gospel. Uh, and I just want to finish, remember the three things I just uh, told you, all of, the, all of you. Um, and I need to remember these three things. The first one is not about revenge, it's about correction. The closest people who love the person are the, the most uh, supported by life to correct the person. And those who want to correct, they need to remember what are the good aspects, what the person has said in the past that can help the person to get back into, to, to bring back, to get it back into the path of love and, and, uh, and moving out of fear, moving from fear to courageous love. And the third one is the nature. Uh, we can get back into the path of harmony if we remember uh, that we are not alone, that we are a communal effort, and uh, we just want to be close to people who are, uh, are uh, let's say, with painful wounds, about, about sharing, sharing them publicly, so we can, we can respond and we can weave relationship with them, and we can, we can recreate uh, the, our life. Thank you very much uh, for listening uh, this topic.